Karnataka is one of the highest economic growth states in India with an expected GSDP gross state domestic product growth of 8.2% in the fiscal year 2010-2011. The total expected GSDP of Karnataka in 2010-2011 is about 2,719.56 billion rupees. Per capita GSDP during 2008-2009 was $1,034.90. Karnataka recorded the highest growth rates in terms of GDP and per capita GDP in the last decade compared to other states. In 2008-09, the tertiary sector contributed the most to GSDP $31.6 billion 55%, followed by the secondary sector $17 billion 29%, and the primary sector $9.5 billion 16%, with an overall GDP growth of 56.2% and a per capita GDP growth of 43.9% in the last decade. Karnataka surpassed all other states in India, pushing Karnataka's per capita income in Indian rupee terms to sixth place. Karnataka received $2,026.4 million worth of foreign direct investment for the fiscal year 2008-09, placing it at the third spot among states in India. At the end of 2004, the unemployment rate of Karnataka was 4.57% compared to a national rate of 5.99%. For the fiscal year 2006-07 the inflation rate of Karnataka was 4.4%, which was less than the national average. Between 2011-12 and 2017-18, the GSDP of the state grew at a compound annual growth rate CAGR of 13.11% to reach 12.69 trillion rupees, $196.88 billion, and the net state domestic product NSDP grew at a CAGR of 12.83% to reach 11 1.45 trillion rupees 177.68 billion dollars a fiscal year in Karnataka begins on the 1st of April of the previous calendar year and ends on the 31st of March of the year with which it is numbered after Bangalore urban district Dakshina Kannada Mangalore and Belgaum district contribute the second and third highest revenue to the state respectively topic <laughs> agriculture and livestock Topic. Agriculture is the primary occupation of most of Karnataka's rural residents. A total of 123,100 square kilometers of land is cultivated in Karnataka, constituting 25.3% of the total geographical area of the state. According to the 2001 census, farmers and agricultural laborers formed 56% of the workforce of Karnataka. Agriculture in Karnataka is heavily dependent on the southwest monsoon since the extent of arid land in the state is second only to Rajasthan. Only 26.5% of Son area square kilometers is subjected to irrigation. The state has three agricultural seasons, Karif April to September, Rabi October to December, and Summer January to March. Given below is a table of 2015 national output share of select agricultural crops and allied segments in Karnataka based on 2011 prices. Topic: <laughs> Primary crops grown in Karnataka. Topic: the main crops grown are rice, ragi, jowar, sorghum, maize, and pulses tur and gram, in addition to oilseeds and a number of other cash crops. Cashews, coconut, arecanet, cardamom, chilies, cotton, sugarcane and tobacco are also produced. Karnataka is the largest producer of coarse cereals, coffee, raw silk and tomatoes among the states in India. Horticultural crops are grown in an area of 16,300 square kilometers and the annual production is about 9.58 million tons. The income generated from horticulture constitutes over 40% of income generated from agriculture and it is about 17% of the state's GDP. In floriculture, Karnataka occupies the second position in India in terms of production and 700 tons of flowers worth 500 million rupees were produced in 2004-05. A majority of the 35 billion rupee silk industry in India is headquartered in Karnataka state, primarily in Mysore and North Bangalore regions of Dadabalapura, the site of a planned 700 million silk city. Topic: Education. Topic. 
Karnataka is one of the largest concentrations of higher education including medical and engineering colleges. Apart from Bengaluru, places like Mangalore, Belagavi, Mysuru, Hubali Darwad and Devanagere have been producing professionals for the information technology industry. Mudanahalli, in North Bangalore, is the site of the upcoming Sri Sathya Sai Baba University and College of Medicine and a branch of the Visvesvaraya Institute of Advanced Technology. Devanahalli is set to be the location of a 95 billion Devanahalli business parks, which will contain aerospace education special economic zones, near the Bengaluru International Airport. The North Bangalore region is set to be a premier educational hub of Karnataka. Darwad in the northern part of the state is another hub for education with several engineering colleges and a central university. These developments are set to contribute significantly to Karnataka's economy by creating jobs, expanding educational opportunities, and spurring infrastructure development. Industry Karnataka evolved as the manufacturing hub for some of the largest public sector industries of India after India's independence. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited which is dedicated to research and development activities for indigenous fighter aircraft for the Indian Air Force employs over 9,500 employees making it one of the largest public sector employers in Karnataka. Other heavy industries such as National Aerospace Laboratories, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, Indian Telephone Industries, Bharat Earth Movers Limited BEML, Bharat Electronics Limited, Hindustan Machine Tools and Indian subsidiaries of Volvo and Toyota are also headquartered in Bangalore. India's National Space Agency, the Indian Space Research Organisation is headquartered in Bangalore and employs approximately 20,000 people. TV's Motors has a motorcycle manufacturing plant at Mysore and Tata Motors at Darwad. Karnataka State has many companies engaged in the manufacturing of electrical equipment and machinery like Kurloskar, AB, Kavika, Larsen and Tubro etc. This may be due to the location of the Central Power Research Institute at Bangalore. Many multinational companies have set up their manufacturing units in Karnataka such as BASF, and Bosch. The state owns sugar factories in the northern region, edible oil processing factories, pharmaceutical factories, textile processing centers, and steel producing facilities. Vishveshwaraya steel plant at Bhadravati is run by sale. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Minerals. Topic: <inaudible> Gold, iron ore, quartz, limestone, manganese, kyanite and bauxite are some of the minerals that are found in Karnataka. After the closure of the Kohler Gold Fields Mine, the only company in India that produces gold by mining and extracting it from the ore is Huddy Gold Mines Limited that has plants at Huddy and Chitradurga in Karnataka. The major mines of manganese and iron ore are located at Sandor in Bellary district. Visweswaraya Iron and Steel Limited at Bhadravathi and Jindal Vijayanagar Steel Limited at Taranagal are engaged in the production of iron and steel. Indian Aluminium Company Limited Hindalco has an aluminum plant near Belgaum. Mysore Minerals Limited is in the mining and production of chromite industry in Hassan district. Rajashra Cements at Adityanagar, Vasavadatta Cements at Sedam and the Associated Cement Company Limited at Wadi are engaged in the production of cement. Uranium deposits have been found in Deshnur, a small village near Belgaum. Information and biotechnology Topic. Karnataka is the leader in the information technology sector in India and its capital, Bangalore, is known as the Silicon Valley of India. In the IT sector, Karnataka generated a total revenue of 516.5 billion rupees in the financial year 2006-07 which included Rs. 487 billion from software exports and 29.5 billion rupees from hardware exports. A total of 1973 companies in the state are involved in information technology related business. While the bulk of the IT related companies are located in Bangalore, some companies are located in Mysore and Mangalore as well. Bangalore is also the headquarters of Wipro and Infosys, which are among the top three IT companies in India in regards to market capitalization. 
The Nandi Hills area in Devanahalli outskirts is the site of the upcoming $22 billion, 50 square kilometer Beale IT investment region, one of the largest infrastructure projects in the history of Karnataka. As of June 2006, Karnataka housed 55% of biotechnology related companies in India. Bangalore is also the home of the largest biocluster in India with total revenues of 14 billion rupees and having 158 of the 320 companies working on biotechnology in India. Karnataka has a headcount of over 6,800 scientists involved in biotech research and out of 28 biotech companies that were registered in India in the year 2005-06, 27 were located in Karnataka. Banking in Karnataka Karnataka, particularly the coastal districts of Dakshina Kannada and Udupi, is sometimes called the ''cradle of banking'' in India. This is because seven of the country's leading banks, Kanara Bank, Syndicate Bank, Corporation Bank, Vijaya Bank, Karnataka Bank, Visya Bank and the State Bank of Mysore originated in this state. The first five in the above list of banks were established in the districts of Udupi and Dakshina Kannada. These districts have among the best distribution of banks in India. A branch for every 500 persons. Between 1880 and 1935, 22 banks were established in coastal Karnataka, nine of them in the city of Mangalore. As of March 2009, Karnataka had 5,759 branches of different banks servicing the people of the state. The number of people served by each branch was 10,000 which was lesser than the national average of 15,000, thereby indicating better penetration of banking in the state. Infrastructure Physical infrastructure, roads the state is well connected to its six neighbouring states and other parts of India through 14 national highways NH. it accounts for about 6% of the total NH network in India. Its district centres are linked through 114 state highways shish. The total road network of NH, Shish, and district roads is about 2,07, 379 km, of which 1, 27,541 km is surfaced 61.5%, Road type road length KM National highways 4396 State highways 28311 District roads 19801 Topic Physical infrastructure ports Topic New Mangalore port 2010-11 Total traffic handled, 67.30 MTA. Total imports handled, 23.6 MTA. Total exports handled, 32.9 MTA. Number of vessels, 1,186. Cruise vessels, 26. Revenue, $65 million. Carwarport, 2007-08. Total cargo handled, 2.7 MTA. Total imports and exports, 6 MTA Revenue, $2.7 million 25 private liquid cargo tanks, 75,000 MT Topic. Physical infrastructure, airports Topic. Domestic airports, Belgaum Airport, Mysore Airport and Hubli Airport International airports Kempegoda International Airport, Devanahalli Commissioned, May 2008 Area, 4,050 acres 16.4 square kilometers Capacity, 11 million PAXP, A Aircraft movements, 63,500 Third busiest airport in India, after Mumbai and Delhi Mangalore International Airport, Bajpay Commissioned, December 1951 Passenger movements, 1,302,561 Aircraft movements, 11,861 Runways, 5,300 feet, asphalt and 8,038 feet, concrete. The only airport in Karnataka with two runways. 
Topic: <laughs> Physical infrastructure, railways. Topic: Railway network of 3172 kilometers. Urban transport. Metro rail and mono rail projects are underway in Bangalore. The first phase of the Nama Metro will cover a total of 42.3 kilometers. Topic: Ongoing projects. Topic: Hassan Sakleshpura Mangalore line gauge conversion is completed. Both freight and passenger trains run on this route on a daily basis connecting the seaport city of Mangaluru to the state capital of Bengaluru and Mysuru. Key connectivity projects, doubling of Mysore Bangalore railway line, Gadig Bagalakat, Bangalore Hassan to be taken up in the near future. Topic. Physical infrastructure, power Topic. Generation, Karnataka Power Corporation Limited and IPPs GMR, Jindal, Baruka. KPCL has an installed capacity of over 9,315 MW. Number of consumers, 16.3 million Independent power producers have installed capacity of 2,005 MW. KPCL Karnataka Power Corporation Limited IPPs as independent power producers transmission Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation Limited KPTCL area covered 192000 square kilometers substations 1205 transmission lines 28000 kilometers 33 kilovolts 130000 kilometers of 11 kilovolts LT lines 451855 kilometers Distribution transformers, 1, 50,000 Physical infrastructure, power Distribution, supply, electricity supply companies ESCOMs. Bangalore Electricity Supply Company BESCOM. Mangalore Electricity Supply Company MESCOM. Hublai Electricity Supply Company HESCOM. Gulbarga Electric Supply Company GESCOM. Chamundishwari Electric Supply Corporation Sesk. Source, power sector at a glance as on July 2009, Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation Limited website, accessed 23 September 2009. <laughs> Physical infrastructure, telecommunications Leading telecom companies in the sectors of telecommunication network, basic telephony services both wireline and wireless and networking services for telecommunication equipment are operating in the state. The entire state is networked via Optic Fibersibles OFC by the state-run BSNL formerly DOT as well as private companies like Bharti, Reliance, VSNL and Tata Tele Services. Last mile access is provided by BSNL as well as Tata Tele services in various parts of the state. Barshi and Reliance Communications provide the last mile access directly to the customer in all major cities in Karnataka. Seven new telephone exchanges were opened in 2007-2008. Active telecom service providers in Karnataka. BSNL, Barshiertel, Reliance Communications, Vodafone SR, Spice Communications, Tata Teleservices Limited. Key statistics 2007-08 Cellular subscribers, about 10 million internet, broadband subscribers, about 0.8 million telecom towers, about 14,000 post offices, 9,826 telephone connections provided, 2,610 telephone exchanges, 2,727 topic Industrial infrastructure topic Karnataka Industrial Area Development Board KIADB and Karnataka State Industrial Investment Development Corporation KSIIDC are jointly responsible for the development of industrial infrastructure in the state. Directorate of Commerce and Industries has set up a district and taluk industrial centers across the state to facilitate investment. The government of Karnataka is promoting the development of several SEZs across Karnataka, such as Pharma and Biotech says, Food Processing and Agro-based Industries and Textiles says at Hassan and IT and Coastal SEZs at Mangalore. Key industrial clusters IT, ITES cluster in Electronic City and Whitefield, Bangalore. Biotech Park, cluster in Electronic City, Bangalore. 
Integrated food parks in Harir, Bagalkot, Juargi and Malur for pay N use common facilities and MSME food processing manufacturers machine tool cluster at Pina Industrial Estate Textile Cluster at Dadabalapur Foundry Cluster at Belgam Industrial Valve Cluster at Hubli Darwad Coir Clusters at Hassan. Handicrafts Cluster at Chanapatna. Coffee Production and Processing Cluster in Madikeri SEZs in Karnataka notified, 27 formal approvals, 52 in principal approvals, 9 source, statewises in India, www.sezindia.nic.in, accessed 23 September 2009 Topic Water Supply Topic The water supply is provided by the local authorities like municipalities and panchayats. The first hydroelectric plant in the state was built at Shivanasamudra Falls on the Kaveri River in 1902. Topic electrical supply Topic Karnataka Power Transmission Corporation Limited is the sole provider of electricity for the state. The Linganamaki Reservoir will supply around 35% of power to the state. Electric power from KPTCL is distributed through distribution companies like Bescom Bangalore Electricity Supply Company, MESCOM Mangalore Electricity Supply Company, GESCOM Gulbarga Electricity Supply Company, HESCOM Hubli Electricity Supply Company and CESCOM Chamundisvari Electricity Supply Company for different parts of the state. A good number of windmills were present. The Reicher Thermal Power Station and near Bellary Kudadini. Karnataka is also the location of companies like Selco India, which is promoting the use of solar electricity among the rural areas of the state and is also a twice winner of the Ashden Awards. See also Topic Economy of Bangalore Economy of Mangalore Mysore Topic Notes Topic 